Okay. Going back to live. And we're live now. I think we're back now. Are we back now? Yes, we are back now. All right. Uh, next slide, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. You've been uh, watching, even only hearing us audio, but we've been like a whole freeze frame screen. Now everything should be okay. If anything goes wrong with technical tees, tell us in the live chat. Appreciate it. Now, where were we? I think you were... Uh, the last thing we were talking about was pretty much just like um, the fact that it's... Did it freeze again? I don't know. Oh, no. Yeah, I think it's frozen again. Oh, no. Let's see. Encoding overload. Oh, it's, just, it's just lagging. Uh-oh. Technology, bro. It really be like that, huh? The good that's and bad of tech. Right? That's video wild. Settings. That's wild. Oh no, wait. Uh, hold. 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 We need the technology quirk. <laughs> I would love a technology quirk. By the way, the fact that there aren't more of those in this universe is like, come on, bro. Yeah, right? <laughs> but those would be a little too OP. Doesn't somebody, yeah, somebody has a hacking quirk. Wait, I think we. It's lagging, but we can hear you now. Wait, are we still lagging? Um, I mean, as I long as you, I, I, to I, me, I, as long no. as you can hear us, I think that's fine. I think, I think it, 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 looks, I, it looks fine. Yeah, it looks better now. Yeah, now it's looking better now. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sorry, Good. guys. I'm not touching anything anymore. <laughs> Just let it go as it is. Technology, baby. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. Um, dang, where was I? Uh, I, lost, I, lo I lost the train. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, frick. We were talking about All Might, and he can't do everything himself. Right, right. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Yeah. Um, which is good, though. And I was, oh, so I was getting to the point where I think um, while Midoriya has the power to do what he needs to do, I don't think that as a person, um, like, emotionally, he will be able to, like, finish what he needs to finish if Shigaraki is unsavable. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and so that's why the people around him are going to be very important. Because <laughs> uh, I, I, I still don't... I don't know. Deku seems like the one anime MC that won't ever be okay with killing another person. You know, and I'm okay with that. Me, I, like, me too. In the end, I don't, I don't want him to kill Shigaraki. I want him to find a way to save him. Right. Or find a way to just lock him away forever until he can actually be rehabilitated because from what we learned at Tartarus, these people are not being rehabilitated. They're being experimented on mm -hmm. and they're barely being seen as human beings. So I want Deku to change that tide because it's I to me he would become more of a hero if he can look past all of that and save Shigaraki. Definitely mm -hmm. stop him from all of the bad things that he's doing. But if he's able to save him and show him that this world isn't just completely filled with assholes that's a hero, bro. Like, right. that's what I want to see. Mm -hmm. Like, to save not just the body, but the spirit of the person, you mm -hmm. know, the mind. Uh, I feel like that, that's a true hero. To change hearts and minds is what it's about, if you ask me, being a hero. It's not just being physically present and saving people. It's about being able to give them hope. We talk about this all the time. Yes, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I, if he can do that for Shigaraki, that'll be a big W in my book, especially for a character like this. Because, um, I mean, in... And there are in some stories where, yeah, it's like they have to, you know, learn to become ruthless and kill folks to help others. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I don't feel like that has to happen here. It doesn't yeah. have to. And I'm like, okay with that. I'm very okay with that. Like, mm -hmm. if Deku was just like, well, no, I got to kill him, then I feel like, what was the point? <laughs> they, so what I'm going to say is they, they all might tried that, and it didn't work. You know? So... Someone else kind, got yeah, a guy. Kind of. He, he crippled one uh, off for one, but wasn't I mean, fully he went dead. in with the intent to murder him. Yeah. You know? And I feel like what... I, I honestly think that Nana's question is a, is a trick question. So, um, at the end, I think it's a trick question. And he's going to respond the way that Deku does, and she's going to be like, okay, good. <laughs> you know, that's you can't like, do this. That's the reason why we, we all maybe, put our maybe. trust and quirk into you, so... That's mm -hmm. the whole reason why they all trust Deku with his own. Because 
Deku in his own mind, he's he's the heart of the hero. He will always run towards danger to help save people. Mm-hmm. And that's the reason why we all, like, they that's all gave him his quirk. All Might made the best choice when he picked our boy. And I, I a horror coach keeps reaffirming that. I'm like, y'all, y'all stop talking shit about Deku. Like, this this boy, <laughs> is he is meant to be this. And will yeah. be the best. Yeah, I agree with you guys. And with uh, All Might picking Deku stuff, like, now we know why... You know, Togata was the top candidate, but at yeah. the end of the day, he probably will still have not gotten the quirk uh, by All Might. So that's even more interesting, that reinforcement that our coach gave us with this chapter and the explanation of one for all. I don't know. For me, that kind of – I don't know. He might be, he might be dead by now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he ain't gotten the quirk. Yeah. Because uh, he would have tried his damnedest to save as many people, and he would have exhausted himself. And yeah, he, probably, he might be dead. Who knows? Yeah, um, that's true. Uh, so I, Vincius I don't know. asked, uh, "What if by asking to cure Shigaraki, Nana met to met actually want all for one? Because it felt really out of character for her to ask him to kill someone." And and so I'm glad you say that because that's why I said maybe it was a trick question. Yeah, and yeah, maybe she does mean yeah, all for one because all for one still is the true villain mm. who is now like captured Shigaraki, who was on a completely different path, really, before this kind of happened. He was setting him down the path, but then he altered and took the path and gave like Shigaraki his path, essentially. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he's, he's the demon, what is it? Is it Lord or King? Um, the Demon Lord. He's, demon right, what, he, he claimed demon himself king? as the Demon Lord, which <laughs> I think sounds better than King. Uh, and yeah. So I'm like, yeah, um, what are we going to, like, we, we all like Shigaraki. Like, I, I'll be honest, like, most of, most people who read My Hero Academia like Shigaraki because Shigaraki is a good character. We want that character to, like, have his own thing. So with All for One being in the way, yeah, we got we to gotta get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the way that she poses the question because, I mean, she says, can you kill him, mm-hmm. right? So to mm-hmm. me, it's like, it's like, one, can you do what's necessary if it comes to that? Mm-hmm. Can you, as a person, like, just kill another person? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's multi-layered, but to Ray's point, like, it's just like, to me, it's like, it's kind of a trick question. Like Ray said, like, can you? Like, is, is, that, is that something that you would be willing to do? You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. maybe that's not even necessary. Like we, like, we already talked about, like, I want to see... Deku put Shigaraki in prison, much like how All Might put All for One in prison. Mm-hmm. After he failed to kill him, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I don't know. I, I I just want this to go the, a different way. Um, and Horikoshi has already shown us that he's not telling a traditional shonen story. Mm-hmm. He's telling his version of a shonen story, which I really really like. Um, you know, because I, I think, I mean, and not to like, I'm not like not comparing them, but the, there's a Actually, I can't say that because James James isn't caught up on JJK. Uh, I don't want to ruin that for you. So anyway, um, how do I, make, how do I pivot for that real quick? Uh, Midoriya is the type of character where his situation calls for so many other things that he could do, mm-hmm. but because of his character, who he is, he's not going to conform to the situation. He's going to change the situation based on what he feels is right, which I really really like <laughs> it's, it's not the character conforming to the story mm-hmm. it's the story evolving around the character because of the character's actions that's important i think that's really cool facts bro i agree so i wanted to ask you guys what um what are your thoughts on the fourth users how he used it when it was his turn to have the all for one the one for all quirk like what are your thoughts uh i'm not gonna lie to you this guy I just felt he, he used it completely wrong. This guy said... <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know what he was doing. You're right. No, no, this guy literally said, you know what? All for one, this it's a villain I can't beat. Let me just hide out in the mountains <laughs> for 18 years and then train. Let me train for no reason, just become stronger and just hide out here. Like, what are you doing? Like, he could at least pass on the quirk and try fighting all for one. Maybe no, bro. He said, hey... I see that. I can. He's like, nah, bro. I ain't messing with you. Mm-mm. And I'm gone. <laughs> I love that. I, I legitimately love that. He was like, yeah, bro, I can't do that. Uh. <laughs> I mean, like, realistically, I'm kind of okay with it, right? I Me never too. expected all of the users to be quote unquote useful. Right. But when you really think about it, his greatest responsibility 
was making sure that the quirk is one preserved, mm -hmm. one advanced, and then also keeping it away from all for one. Exactly. So to me, he did his job. It was passed to him, and he spent that his he dedicated the rest of his time that he had left to cultivating the quirk to pass it on to someone else. So to mm -hmm. me, he did his job. Like mm -hmm. he saw that he couldn't beat all for one, and even if he tried, he would have just ended up dead mm -hmm. or. Potentially, I mean, we know it has to be given, but who knows what All for One could have done to him and then the quirk couldn't be passed on to the greatest hero that the world has ever seen. So he did his job, in, I, in my opinion. But I mean, he, he managed right? to pass the quirk on to uh, the fifth user. So when did that happen? Black, like? Black Whip. Yeah, and they, yeah. Have, they seem to have their own dynamic but, but, as well, but it, too. Like, and that's what I'm saying. So they, they have a relationship. Like, they seem mm -hmm. friendly with each other. They knew each other. So I'm, he was probably like, oh, who could I get it to? Oh, my butt over here. I know I know my boy. He'll be fine. <laughs> and then he's like, hey, I'm going to give you this. But no, hey, you probably going to die. But here you go. And he's like, wait, what? <laughs> like, I mean, like, he kept calling him a hermit. And like, oh, he's a useless dude. He Which, I mean, he, he was a hermit. He was, he I mean, really? so James is exactly right. He was like, my number one goal is to preserve and protect this quirk so i'm gonna do that do bye <laughs> <laughs> no. I, mean, I mean like how he how he defended himself like, oh no i was the normal one everybody outside were the uh -huh. weirdos it's like i yeah. mean if you were going to consider the uh all for one like chaos and war destruction sort i understand but i'm pretty sure that's the same mentality a hermit would have like oh i'm the normal one other people are the weirdos and shit yeah, like he's that, like so. i don't like people know it so yeah this works for me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and not only that, he had the quirk that he could he could always be gone before they actually found him. Exactly. Yep. So it's like he was like actually he was like you catch me if you can, sucker. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> so like, I, I I love that character. I as much as I love the story that he's telling us now, I want like store I want to I want to see all these other character stories because he's mm -hmm. made them interesting to me. Yeah. Like I want I want to see young all might become all might that you know deku meets i want to see nana and gran torino being heroes i want to see this fourth and fifth user like doing their thing and how they made these decisions on what to do with this court i want to see all of that that stuff is interesting enough that i'm like yes please show me that same like I i'm not a writer so i don't know how Horikoshi would be able to do this successfully but i would love a spin-off mm -hmm. To your point, Ray, just exploring all of the, the users of One for All. Just, the just learning uh, all of that history. Yeah, man. Like, again, I don't know how you would handle it because, I mean, it's so much time mm -hmm. in between each user and how they cultivated the quirk. Mm -hmm. But I would love to see that. I mean, even a series of light novels would be sick. I'm not even going to fly, yeah, man. That would like, be just like sick. about each user. Hero. A light novel yeah. for each yeah. one would be... I would love I would, that. I would legitimately love that. Um, God, that'd be cool. Because, so, like, I'm kind of glad that... Our... I know you watch it, BB. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad that our theory was a little wrong. We thought that he was might he was, might have been a villain. He might have been a criminal. But I'm honestly, very thankful. Yep. I, I, I honestly, I think it's kind of fit, especially for the quirk. It's almost mm -hmm. cowardish. I'm like, yeah, but he knew what to do. His job was well, but... And I, I love that I'm he, okay that he that. explained the, the scars, the cracks. Mm -hmm. It was like Doctor Stone, like Doctor Stone. I, like, like Dr. Stone I, I love that. Yeah, I was like, "Hey, yo, he like he's like, no, I got all this planned out." I'm like, "God, dang, you're so good at telling your story." <laughs> like, then yes, I, please. Like, yeah, I could have kept going if I had uh -huh. the extra years. It was oh, like I died man. by old age. Forty ain't old. This ain't the yeah. Neanderthal age. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Deku was like, "Yeah, you were 40. and he was like, <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, let me explain why." Um, but no, this just, I, man, this chapter was also very good. And I, uh, I, I remember. Y'all, if y'all been watching for the past like three weeks, I was like, man, I hope we don't see Deku for a while. Outside of this, what we're in right now, <laughs> <laughs> and I still want to know if time is gonna pass. What, like, how much time is passing while he's in this comatose state? Yeah, this is the one thing that I was talking about. I was like, hopefully, when we come out, time has passed potentially, um, but maybe not. Like, like I said, Horror Coach has got his own thing where he's like, all right, now nah, because remember how much we were like, uh, hey. Uh, maybe they'll maybe all for one to wait for a bit before he attacks the same night. <laughs> yeah, he broke all, into all those jails. It was like, uh uh, we, all, we ain't stopping. All for one's like, oh, there's no rest for you, heroes. Mm -hmm, let's, let's, mm -hmm. let's, let's cause some chaos real quick. More chaos. Yep. Hey, remember that hope that you used to have thanks to All Might and when he was no longer there and you thought that everything was going to be turning to normal? Nope, that's destroyed. <laughs> that's gone. 
having new rules. You better have some new li- new heroes lined up. Oh wait, they retired. They didn't want to mess with this shit no more. Oh well. Oh my, oh, my oh. you're not here, man. Where are you, oh, my? <laughs> I mean, you know, making sure that the next one to be there is there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which I appreciate. I really do. And this. Like- what you guys were saying earlier, like hero society should have never just relied on one hero. Like you got to rely on the whole system because when you do that and that hero retires or has to retire, then who do you rely on? Mm-hmm. Right. Cause it's like Stane was saying, um, with a lot of these heroes, some of them are like, Oh, I just want to be a hero for popularity. I want to be a celebrity. I want money, all this stuff. I want to be known and stuff. Like one of the top heroes, I think he was like th- number five or something here. He was like, I think oh, he was yeah, number nine. Yeah, he was like the, the old samurai guy or something. Yeah, like that? that dude. Yeah, yeah. He was like, oh, I just want the recognition. I'm retiring. Like yep. this guy, is- he was honest. <laughs> yeah, he was a coward, but he was honest. He, re- he really pissed me off. On yeah. yeah, he was a coward, but he in was his, honest. He in was his like, brain, in his mind, he's like, all I ever wanted was respect. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. But no, it was it was so. Uh, Diego just says something important. Deku is more worried about. Like the first, the first things we see from Deku is him worried about everybody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Literally, that's a and true I'm like, hero. That's that's Deku. Like that's our boy. He's like he's more because he has no idea what state he's in right now. <laughs> but he's caring, he's worried about every single other person. And I'm like, that's my son. That's my boy, yeah, man. That's Ugh. what makes a hero, man. He's so mm-hmm. selfless. Mm-hmm. But then, mm-hmm. like, when it comes to like how se- how much more selfless can you be if you have to go against your own like morals? Like, would you really kill Shigaraki in order to protect the world? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I and personally so, don't think he will, just he because. Will. Yeah. Um, back to the hero stuff, they were like, heroes only kill like if it's like r- really necessary. Even if it's necessary to Shigaraki, I think Deku is like that shonen protagonist where, like you guys were saying, I hope he saves him instead. You know, mm-hmm. you know. Even, okay, let's say even if he saves him and Shigaraki still is like, oh, I don't care about all this stuff. Or, no, I, I still, it might be like Naruto. He might tell Shigaraki. Oh, no jutsu. Yeah. <laughs> Shigaraki might realize the wrongs of his way. I hope. But I'm not, I, don't, yeah. I don't think Shigaraki is going to go to prison. I, th- I think even if he's about to get captured, I think Shigaraki might just decay himself. Like, okay, I'm done. Well, I, mean, if, if, I mean, Shigaraki might be like, I did what I set out to do. Yeah, which he has. I mm-hmm. want to tear down Hero Society, destroy it all, and it's gonna if it's getting rebuilt by you and you're one of the people rebuilding it, I guess that's fine. But I ain't gonna be here for a piece and then Thanos dust. <laughs> yeah, because he did say I want to destroy everything. Mm-hmm. What if he destroys him, himself at the end? He's like, you know what? I did like you said what I wanted to do, and that's it. I don't know. I just I'm really curious to see how this like. I know we're talking about the end, but I I just got to see how we get there. There's still so many other characters for him to dive into, yeah. to talk about, and you know show us what their motivations are and how they've changed his characters. Because what we're seeing is all these characters changing. Yeah, they all they're all changing, and I'm really happy to see it. But Cameron asks, what if Deku becomes the number one hero by dying? I don't think that's how that's gonna work. Because I mean, how, you, you need a nar- you kind of need a narrator for this. Well, not, not not only that. Uh, Exus is the number one hero, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he gave us your greatest villain. <laughs> now give him respect. <laughs> but yeah, my, my, I, I only disagree with that because because of the narrative that we know from the beginning that uh-huh. this is all just a pre-told story of how Deku became the greatest hero. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't think that's going to happen. And personally, I, I don't want that to happen. Like, I, I want Deku to live on. I would I would much prefer if he, like, at the very end, like transfers it to someone else or whatever is going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want the story to end with him dying. I just yeah. don't want that. I mean, I just I feel like this this is a, this is one of the few stories that can end with a happy ending. To be honest with you, and I'd be okay with that. Uh, mm-hmm. It doesn't need to be a happily ever after, but it was. It, it's more like a well sacrificed then, or something and, like I mean, that. Yeah, it's like, yeah. and, and then the the greater good one. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I, and it's kind of like it, it's the he gets to show his. Society won't be perfect, but it can be better if we wanted it to be. Type of situation. And yeah. I, I don't know. I Horikoshi is telling me a good story, and I appreciate the hell out of it. Like seriously, God is so good. Um. So, uh, I want to go back to what the fourth user also said. Like, you technically, since there's gonna be less, there's more or less quirkless people in the world right now. 
mm-hmm. to just automatically says that could be possi- could be the last uh, one for all user as a quirkless user. Do you think like because there it still exists? It's just really rarer these days now, and at least we know like being quirkless means you actually can have a more potential of wielding one for all. But who's to say that they actually have that same hero spirit as Deku, or like the whole willing to save people, or even wanting to be a hero? So I think that might help cementify or maybe solidify that Deku is the final user of all for of one for all. I mean, so I think what they what this is saying to me, he goes, Horikoshi is a potentially giving himself a chance to change things last minute if he decides to, mm. <laughs> like he decides to have him pass it on to somebody else. But B also, because of the way the quirk has evolved, nobody else could physically take the well, quirk they... in his current state. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like if it was to be given to any other person, they physically would be unable to use his quirk based on how it's evolved. Is that's my guess? The my, yeah. my interpretation of what they're saying. Yeah, when you guys put it that way, I do agree. Like, I think, like you said, Ray, uh, Horikoshi could have two options, but I'd rather him just stick to what he just said here. Like, he might be the last one for all user, just because mm-hmm. the quirk is getting stronger. Like they said, four months ago, the quirk got stronger, and mm-hmm. it's going to keep getting stronger. Exactly. So it's going to get to a point where, you know, if he passes it on to somebody else, they might just explode or something. Like, yeah, oh, literally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can't handle this. Because so, that's what All Might was worried about when he gave it to Deku. He was yeah. like, mm. you, could, you could literally just explode. <laughs> <laughs> right um, so right now, we don't know who... The, the second and third uh, wielder, they're on timeout, basically. <laughs> yeah. I, so I was looking at that, and I'm like, I think it's because they just... Hmm, I don't know. That's interesting. Like I'm like, why are they facing the wall and aren't in their chairs? Is it because they like? And then the text bubble just so happens to cover their entire faces and stuff. Yeah, I'm like, huh? What's up with that? Like that is that is still a mystery to me. But I, I'm like, I'm glad. Don't give us everything right now. Like I still feel like there's a reason why we haven't seen them. Um, yeah. I'm still of the mind that they like because based off what we know about the quirk now, yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah. My oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, um, they're all dead. They're all dead. But well, except, except uh, all my but still. Maybe it's just because they don't think it's time for him to have their court yet. Like they don't think he's ready, and so that's why they're like, kind of like we're out, we're out of this right now. <laughs> we're in standby mode. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like, I I think those are going to be the last two quirks that we see, and it's going to be whatever the final battle is against Shigaraki. That's that's just. Potentially, yeah, because I, I feel like the the fourth one, he's like, uh, you activated my quirk, you know, and it, he was like, that came as a shock to me. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect you to do it, like, to, you, you weren't, basically, it's like, I didn't think you were going to use this yet. And so I'm here now to explain it to you because you use it. Uh, mm-hmm. So I'm assuming the other two are waiting because he's not ready yet. He hasn't awakened yet because technically, uh-huh. um, Light uh, asked about this before off screen. He said, during that four months ago, like something happened and you like somehow were able to unlock each of like, our quirks one by one. First it was Black Whip mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. it was the Float and now with Danger Sense. Uh, something happened within that four months ago that just suddenly they woke up and were able to give Deku like a piece of their quirks and stuff like that. And we, mm-hmm. we also learned that All Might, his own consciousness is in the one for all quirk. Which means that's the reason why he couldn't talk to the other predecessors like Deku can, like mm-hmm, Shimura mm-hmm. can. Well, I mean, well, so what he said is, the, essentially, the quirk became Toshi. Like, it, it, mm. it's him, and they all reside in it. So, like, it gave the quirk consciousness. He gave the quirk what it is now. <laughs> he gave it consciousness, essentially, uh, which is amazing. I, lo- I love that that's what he gave to the quirk, if that's how it's interpreted. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he may be quirkless, but he gave him a conscious, and that's... Yeah. Also very important. He gave it a spirit, like, essentially, to bring them together, to uh, make this connection. I don't know. I'm, God, I love that. Because I'm like, what did he bring to the table? Oh, you know, the most important part. <laughs> Everybody gets their, own mi- gets their own mind. You can actually speak to each other now. Right. Um, because I, it makes sense based on what we saw when they first, we saw, we first saw the vestiges back in the, the you know, the, the festival. Yeah. Where they were just right, spirits. Because right. like, that's what they were at the time. They were just spirits. And they were like, oh. And then they even said, we wish we could have talked to you sooner. Because mm-hmm. there's so many other things we could have done. <laughs> and I was like, oh. 
that does that sucks. I hate that, but you're right. <laughs> so and 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 I guess this is uh, the one thing I re- I realized. That that dude's not gonna kill him. He ain't because he had every opportunity to murder Overhaul, <laughs> and he didn't. He didn't. That's yeah, not you're the right. way. He just he just way. literally beat him into submission. <laughs> And that's what's going to happen with Shigaraki, I'm pretty sure. Because, uh, I mean, it's, it's not a hero's job to be judge, jury, and executioner. That is mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. your responsibility. That is not your job. Right. Like, like, all for one, yes, is a global threat. But if you can subdue him and find a way to imprison him, that should be the very first thing that you should try. Just murdering someone should not be your first thought mm-hmm. as a mm-hmm. hero. Yep. Um, unless you absolutely have to, yes. which I think yeah. Hawks... I want Hawks to talk with Deku about this. I really want them to have like an aside, like, hey, I did this because I thought this was the only way, but I really wish I could have found another way. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I feel like he's the only one that we've actually seen who like took a life as a hero mm-hmm. at this point, yep. right? Yeah, but it felt like more like he was under orders from above. Because he, he may be a hero, but... Well, remember, he kept trying. Like, Hawks, mm-hmm. he kept trying. Mm-hmm. He he tried he until really tried, he no yeah. longer until it was too late and he couldn't he couldn't not do it anymore. Twice was just too op. He yeah. he had to be put down. It's unfortunate, go. but he had to be put down. Yeah, yeah I agree. He, I he didn't want to give yeah. up. He didn't want to uh-huh. resist. Like, can you I imagine mean, if twice, even at seventy five percent? Can you imagine if twice copied Shigaraki's quirk at seventy five percent? And just made oh, twenty of them. It would be over. Oh, Everyone would be his, dead. All oh, you need to make is one extra one. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's just like, it's too OP, man. Like he had to go. It's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. It is unfortunate because I really did like, and I feel like Horikoshi did a great job in the, writing that character because I really did like that character. I really, I really did like twice, like truly. And so, it, I just it makes it all. <laughs> um, so. Vin, you bring up a very good that point. That was a very good point. I was just going to say that. This is, so, so put all for one in the Phantom Zone. But what if the Phantom Zone is the all for one verse that they're in? What if he traps him there? Both fit, like like mentally and maybe even physically. I don't know how I mean, it happen, but that becomes their Phantom Zone. that's what all for one wanted to, wants to do to Shigaraki. Yes. Just lock him away in there and take uh-huh. over his body. That would be awesome. Wouldn't that be sick? That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. Dude. If he's forever trapped and then Deku sometimes just goes there just to just to talk to him, that would be amazing. What if what if that's Deku's domain expansion? Sorry, that's another thing that James would know about. But it's okay. I was I was actually I was thinking like that's how Naruto talked to Kurama when he was he put yeah. him in that prison kind of uh, thing. Oh man, wouldn't that be? Yeah, that would be interesting. There's a lot of things that I'm like, what what if? What if one of the quirks is like this space that they're in? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Deku all of a sudden has a reality marble that he can use. You know, for you fate fans out there, you know what that's about. Uh, <laughs> I, I also like that, that Vin brings up like this is why it was a good thing that All Might didn't give the quirk to, to Mario. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My own my only thing is like he could trust um he could have trust um Midnight, right? Is it Midnight? Yeah. Night Eye. 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 Rest in peace. But it's like, why Why didn't he trust Night Eye with that information? Why not just tell him, yo, I'm afraid to give Mirio this quirk because he could die in a few years. I thought he didn't know that. I thought quirk All Might didn't really know that until he did more research to help Deku. I mean, it was, I feel like it was, it was, it was, he, he learned that over time, but he mm-hmm. just, he was, he, he had a, I feel like he had an inkling of it, like an inclination that was like, this potentially could kill this kid and i don't want to take his yeah. potential away from him because i guess my question is like when did he find out what actually happened to the force to the fourth user right right because if he because when he got that information i mean he he knew then right so it's just a matter mm. of when did he find out that information about what happened to the fourth user i don't know like that's mm. where he had to stop but, but at least we know like he didn't stop because like there was not too much to know it's just because his how the reason of his death and there was nothing more, like, past his age of 40, if we could have done. It was just a shorter book. The mm-hmm. other two, he, he does have the information of the other two users. Just, we have no, we, the readers, have no idea. But All Might may have an idea what those two quirk is. But mm-hmm. I feel like he will still be alive until Deku unlocks the last two quirks for uh, One for All, for sure. Like a more, 
like he has the idea, and if you were to get rid of the person who knows what, like the, who did the research and everything, then the next person is Bakugo because he also read the books too. Yeah, mm. I, I feel like with the last two users of One for All we haven't seen, I still hold one of them was more like an anti-hero. Like I, I, mm, I hope yeah. not. I hope not all the users were you know you're just heroic type people because I mean fourth, if you think about it, fourth user wasn't well, necessarily a hero yeah. either. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like a coward. They were, they yeah, fourth yeah. <laughs> user as well. I mean, and they and they said they all had quirks that weren't super strong, and so mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like separately, oh. it's not strong, but together. Mm-hmm. I gotta know what those first two quirks are. I gotta know. Yeah. <laughs> like I want to know so bad now. Like what are they? What were they? Ugh. But then later on, they were talking about like you see how basically the will of because the they were talking about the quirk factors and stuff. So how is the first user of one for all like will in there? Because he he was talking about like the user is two to seven. I, like I have no idea. I mean, you might be right. I mean, like they might be like physically there, but they're not like completely there because the quirk hadn't like reached that point yet potentially. Mm-hmm. So like, just their quirk is there, and that's why like they they're physically there. Yeah. They can't. And maybe they can't explain. It. I don't know, and that's why they're just like in the corner because literally they're just like default avatars. <laughs> they just like they load it in, but they don't have any code to execute anything. <laughs> I I agree with you guys when you were saying maybe yeah that's just not ready to use their quirks maybe those are the last two quirks and he has to improve uh well use one for all base further than he has already mm-hmm. like you know master it just for it to actually unlock and we can see their faces and stuff so that's that's really interesting there. what kind of what kind of sucks was the f- the first user had nothing yeah. like backlog no other quirks in the, and he was quirkless too yeah he had yeah, no he other was. quirks mm-hmm. to help support it. I mean, he, so, but he's he's so, the one with all the knowledge, you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then, I I actually think that those two have really really strong quirks because to me it makes sense for the first user to find the first person that he gives this quirk to to be someone powerful mm-hmm. that can live long enough to evade all for one and then pass it to someone else. So in my mind, and I have no idea if I'm right or not, but in my mind. I think that the first user found someone really powerful to pass it to. So I think we're going to see their two quirks towards the end of the battle between Deku and Shigaraki. But that's just I, what I think. Actually, with the first user, it's not confirmed that he, ha- he doesn't have a quirk. Because there was like a special chapter a long time ago or something when where it showed all for one giving his brother a quirk. It might have mutated with like a really weak quirk he might have had. We don't really know, so. By the way, so like, oh boy, that's just chilling in the chair like, hey, I'm here, but I ain't say nothing. What y'all think about him? I mean, he he's at least he's sitting in a chair. Like he's, yeah, no, he's, he's just chilling there. He's like, <laughs> does that mean like that quirk already been? So from the I'm, first, like from the like the second page, you see, you got black whip, we got float, mm-hmm. we got danger sense now, mm-hmm. and it's like okay. But this other I mean, he, he here, said one thing. No, he said one thing. True. He did say one thing. Um, yeah, so he said he said one thing, but uh, he's like, all right, I guess I'm just chilling here, so I'm curious, no, what's no, that word? No, that's probably the... Yeah, yeah. I, I, think I, mean, he's, I think he's up next, so it's yeah. going to be interesting to find out, like, what his quirk was. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, are we going to get all this here, or are we going to come back here another time? Because they basically said, hey, before you wake up, we, we got to talk about this ish. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, like he was, he, like, so at that time, he was, he was supposed to wake up at this, but nope. Mm-hmm. The uh, we, we need to talk, kid. We what need if to talk. that guy has a healing quirk? Because I've been saying, like, I want to be the Rhea to get a healing quirk, but not like, not like Shigaraki's, right? I mean, like, one where it'll take them probably a whole month to heal completely. Like, it'll take them a long, longer, way longer. Because... I'll, I'll, at this point, if he keeps just using his body recklessly, like his bones are shattered and stuff, like what, he can't be a hero. He just always breaking his bones all the time. It's but just, like, it, it, but it won't stop him from like, like go be a hero and save. Yeah, he's and gonna stuff. still keep be like, oh, I don't care if my body's in shambles. I'm gonna keep fighting. I mean, and he his like I'm looking at the way he's dressed, and I'm like, that doesn't really seem like a an outfit for a hero that was very involved in combat. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, just that's just my immediate like thought. It's like he doesn't look like a combat like type you like outfit. So I'm like, he probably was a support hero, but what kind of support? We don't know. Yeah. Um, 
Maybe this is the dude who I was like, he, he gives the party the buffs. <laughs> maybe this yeah, is that's what I'm thinking. Like, wait, why do he use the super strength? M- maybe if he's like the amplification. Um, and so, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. amplify people's quirks by yeah. touching the. Yeah, right. your quirk's stronger for a bit. Mm-hmm. It could so, be. like, we, we, we talked about the potential of a healing quirk last week. And yeah. it's like, I, I just feel like that would just be too much to give to Deku. Yeah. And I feel like it also kind of takes away from the sacrifices that he has made like to his body and the future sacrifices yeah. that, that he'll make, especially having Eerie too, right? Because I, I don't know if this is going to happen, but I still think that we're going to get a moment with Eerie reversing mm-hmm. Deku to a point where he can, you know, reverse all of most of his damage anyway. Yeah. And I want him to have like some other type of defensive quirk or some type of reinforcement quirk to stop him from getting as injured because I just feel like getting a healing quirk with everything else that he has and the potential for all of the other quirks that he's going to get. I just feel like it's too much at that point. Like Mm -hmm. Shigaraki needs that healing quirk because I feel like the villain should be super OP so that the hero has to rise above that. Yeah. So if if Deku gets it is just, I don't know. It would be uneventful for me, but I would be okay with it if it happens. No, I definitely could see that way because I could definitely see, yeah, the villain has the hyper-regeneration. Now, can you at least, can you beat me up faster than my fast regeneration? That sort of thing. And that's the kind of thing <laughs> right. we want to see. We want to get the... <laughs> I mean, yeah, can you decay me faster that. than I can heal? Yeah. 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 You know. Right, right. I think that's why we got dangerous then. So it's like, okay, Deku's not going to be... Even if he's reckless, he still could avoid all these attacks. But that would be it. a great parallel of what All Might did to the first Nomu, though. Like, Bro. so what? That's not notification. That's just resistance. It still means yeah. you're taking all these blows in my attacks. <laughs> That'd be great parallel, honestly. Neither he's just going to start punching Shigaraki and he's like, <laughs> my regeneration is not fast enough. <laughs> huh. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm about it. I'll be honest. I, I really yeah. I, I, I want to see... What happens next? So I'm, I'm I'm curious to see. But so now, like, just as a story overall, I'm curious to see where Horikoshi goes now. Do we stay here for a bit? Um, or are we going back out into, you know, what's happening in the real world currently? Um, I'm, I, this week-to-week stuff is killing me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, actually, I actually think this is a good point to just move on to something else. Like, because mm-hmm. at, at, at the end of this, we, we get the question... And with Deku now having the knowledge that he could potentially be the last one, I kind of hope Kor- um, Horikoshi just kind of like leaves us hanging for a little bit, goes back to the real world, do something else, and then later on, like we jump back to the to this world, and then Deku can have further conversations. But I mean, we'll or Deku wakes up and he's like, "All right, I know what I need to do." And he's like, "But what did you find out?" And we don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's usually some ish that happens. It's like I remember everything, you know. I know Kung Fu. So I'm like, ah, I don't know. I'm show like, me. Yeah, show, exactly. <laughs> yeah, maybe with this transition and maybe we'll see uh, Shigaraki, you know, sleeping outside in the rain still. Oh, boy. Oh. What if he just has a throne made of Nomu when we come back? <laughs> that would actually look gross. And it would look yeah. gross, same but time. I'm like, ugh. Yo, Pedro more, brings more, up a really good point, and it hurts my feelings at the same time. What but Nidai would have been a really great choice to teach Deku more about Danger Sense Aww. because Night Eye has like hindsight. He would That's be able true. to like somewhat teach Deku like just like the basic theory of how he can like activate Danger Sense without something happening. Ah, oh, Pedro, thank you so much for bringing that up. That's that such hurts a good my heart. Like, oh Thanks, man, Pedro, what's insane I'm is have that. Have a bad day now. Thanks. What's, what's interesting <laughs> um, was that Night Eye only saw the outer layer within his using his quirk to see into the future, not knowing. But think about, about the them inner. using their quirk in conjunction. <laughs> <laughs> what a yeah. so good. Uh, I'm then, sad now. Or, they just said the foresight would have been a sick combination. Yeah, man, I'm Shit, sad now. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool like, to see. Yeah. Um, back with the healing quirk thing, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm agreeing with you guys because Vinicius in the chat, he said maybe a healing quirk will make the danger of the one for all user exploding pointless, like the dangers that come with one for all. Mm. So that could be a thing. Maybe he'll, 
get like some durability quirk or some something else. Yeah, that, I was thinking you know, about like something with an endurance where you took in that most heaviest blow like attack from your opponent, but you have like one HP left. <laughs> Like a focus, like a focus guard kind of the thing. Fo- the focus band. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, and then, man. like, you just have a whole Deku moment. Like, I may only have one HP left, but I'm yeah. still getting up and keep fighting. Yeah. So, yeah, it would no, be like I, an RPG. I also, I also hope that Deku learns some sort of like actual close combat, some martial arts. I, I, we've been saying for a long time, we want this boy to learn a fighting style so bad. Um, and maybe this is where Ochako comes in. Yeah, Ochako. Like her teacher knows like yeah. martial arts, right? And she just teaches him what she knows. Uh, yeah. yeah, she she what was it? Gun gun I don't remember his name, but like gun barrel arts thing. or something like that. Yeah. So maybe this is something this is yeah, where that like that. <laughs> that relationship is like it takes it to a new level, I think. So hmm. Yeah, gunhead. Yeah, gunhead yeah. Dude, I don't think this is wow, gonna his happen. Name is literally gunhead. I hate <laughs> I don't I don't think this is gonna happen at all. But man, I would love to see Stain train Deku in martial arts. I would love that. I don't think it's gonna happen, but man, what I love. That would be that. crazy to see. Right? That, that's oh like being God. that's like being trained like like a ninja assassin. Kind exactly, of thing. bro. What if, what if Stain just becomes like Deku's bodyguard? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can come in here unless I say so. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, like no, I, I need prote- them. I'm I need them to the interact with hero. Again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh man! What if Stain says like you're fit to be a hero, but you need more training? Some yeah, something like that. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. like killer, killer, killer gun. I hope that's not his name either. That's a terrible name too. Oh. <laughs> a villain yeah, training I, I, a hero. I'm not with that. that. That would be something to see. Dude, I think that's the thing, thing, right? I don't even see up. Stain as a villain. Right? I yeah. don't just, either. He's just someone. I think he's a like he's that he gray had a area. Sense of justice. Yes. Yeah. He was he was acting. He was carrying out what he thought was how you actually deal with villains. You get yeah. rid of them so they can't do any more damage to society. Because I mean, <laughs> not to make a direct comparison or anything, but uh-huh. to, would you really call the Punisher a hero? Nope. You no. know what I mean? No. Like, no. He just goes out and murders people. It's like, yes, technically, would the world be better off to protect people. these people yep. dead? But that's not what heroes do. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Exactly. Like, you know, the definition of what we see is a hero, right? You know, but there are some people who would absolutely see that as heroic. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like, there are different yeah. people who look at heroes differently. You know, mm-hmm. and that's. I, that's you can say like, Spain is. point of this story, and I love it. You can say, like, Spain is more of an anti hero. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like he fits into he doesn't like truly fit into that either. Yeah, he doesn't have like a mold or something. He, he just he's he, he sees fame. the world black yeah. and yeah, like Stain is Stain. I, like I would just see him. I always see him as a category within Roshak. You just see black and white, not mm-hmm. really a hero. Mm-hmm. You you know yeah. what you're doing for, but mm-hmm. either an, more like anti villain or anti hero kind of thing. He doesn't I really have he, a whole. He doesn't really have his own agendas either. He just. Because in the end, he wanted to get ki- he wanted to be he killed by a hero. He cares about justice, exactly. He wanted yeah. to be taken out by a true hero. And he was doing this to bring out the true hero in society. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. that's completely selfless in its own way. It's selfless and selfish at the same time. Like, what? Oh, I so, hmm. so, no, so <laughs> him knowing that he's not the greatest evil, would he, would he feel like he understand if Deku might have to kill Shigaraki? I don't know. It's... Yeah. yeah, this is just very hard to even. Yeah, say. Be, that's in, that's an interesting question, especially because Thane looked up to All Might, like what a hero should be, mm-hmm. and we never seen All Might hit or what hurt heard that he killed anybody. So, mm-hmm. but now he's seen he's seen all for one, and he's seen Shigaraki. Yeah. This is a more greater evil. Maybe he would like to see, like he would see that as a test for Deku. Like now, can you do this as a hero? I didn't say you have to kill or anything. I just said, can you comp- you save the world or accomplish what you need to do as a hero? Because mm-hmm. you know my, where I stand. Hmm. I need to see how you stand in this greater situation. Because there's always new heights of challenges. There's always new heights of evil. And yeah. if, will you ever stoop to their level of necessary justice in his own way in terms? Because I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to see another himself. And right. Well, not, I mean, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, staying knows that he's not the greatest hero and he's doing what he does to like keep the greatest hero from dirty in their hands essentially Mm -hmm. um but i don't know i don't i i personally think that they might have words but i don't think they'll have a conversation 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Most I want to talk about uh, Pedro's question real quick. Like, do we know that one for all can be passed by force? Because from what we've seen, like, it's it's that's the, the contrary, right? Because nine tried to steal it, couldn't do it. Even one for all, where the quirk originated, I mean, all for one, where the quirk originated, mm-hmm. tried to steal it and he couldn't. So I, I don't think he can. I don't think it can be passed by force. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't think yeah, I think, I, I think it has to be accepted by yeah, the like, person. I think they said that it has to be like willed by willingly, the, yeah, willingly, willingly given, yeah, like willingly, willingly given and willingly taken. Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. So, um, so, so I, feel, I feel like that's how that's got to work. There was something yeah. that um, I was hoping you guys can also help me because, um, well, I, we we touched a little, I touched a little bit like four months ago was when all the other spirits and consciousness were able to get it together. What, what do you think caused that four months to literally change? Because before that, it was in between of fest- the festival and the le- uh, the class 1A versus class 1B, right? Or a little bit before that within the overhaul? Arc? Yeah, so I think it was the festival. When uh, our boy Sincho, um, like, uh, talked to him the first time. Mm-hmm. And then in class 1A versus 1B, um, it really, like, escalated. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like it was... How do I how do I describe that? Was somebody else trying to like be in the mind of that person? It forced the other consciousnesses to like talk, flourish. Like, I think like one way uh, communication. Try to see if there's another communication. Right, back, it's basically it opened the door for them to like be like, nope, this is this is what's here, and uh, you can't fit in here. <laughs> Essentially, but you, gave us, but you gave us a door to talk to our users, so uh, appreciate that. You think that. In, oh, sorry. Sorry, no, no, no. no, no. Go, ahead, go, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, you think the initial, like, activation of all this was when Midoriya fought Overhaul and used 100%, like, that, like, might have no spark of everything right there. Yeah, Eventually. I was thinking something like that, too. Like, every had to cause some kind of effect where maybe Deku needed to use 100% for a good amount of time for <laughs> the other spirits of One for All to come in, to be able to talk more, to wake up more. Yeah. Yeah, something like know. that. Yeah, because hmm. that four month period is important. That's what it was mentioned in this chapter, so it got to be. Horikoshi there. doesn't use words frivolously. Mm-hmm. Right. It means yeah. yeah. We, like, we what nip, did we, we miss? Picking these. What did we miss four months ago that was important to this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, you got the green back to read it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Hey Pedro, can you can you find what chapter that is and just like send it to us? Because I would love to reread that if that's the case. Like, the I honestly don't remember. Yeah. If you can, if you can find what chapter that is, I would greatly appreciate it. Because hmm. there's no way I'm going to remember everything from 304 chapters. So yeah. Like, yeah. Totally. <laughs> I don't, I don't reread this series every week to know what's yeah. happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So please let me know, because I would love to educate uh, myself if that's the case. Yeah. It's like, what you mean you don't know what happened on page seven on in volume two? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I'm really sorry. Uh, and if you do, uh, that's awesome. But um, I don't. Vicious. Um, Yes, we are definitely curious if Stain will ever meet Toga and Dabi, uh, Spinner and all that stuff like that. But I think right now we, we, we need at least two, three more so. chapters within Deku and Avatar State of One for All like mm-hmm. right now. This is, we'll get more information. Even the world in itself, it reminds me of the, uh, the world Shigaraki was in, in his own world. But this time, it's like a whole corner piece of like a building of mm-hmm. a house instead mm-hmm. of like cans. Every rise and other buildings, that sort of thing. It, it's very interesting world that this parallel like plane. I mean, it, I feel like it's it's shaped by both the quirk and the user, right? Mm. So, hmm. uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, Vicious says, I was wondering if I had had something to do with the festival or Gento criminal. Maybe. Maybe. I I didn't I I don't think I've noticed it. Um. Mm. Interesting. Uh, Pedro okay, says well, uh, I mean, the anime. It was like when he explained the origins of One for All. But let me check the chapter quickly. Oh, thank you, man. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Um, Dem said that... show unlocked the door, and then the use of one hundred percent open. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Because well, yeah. maybe they did have no door to open to be able to talk to the user with Deku. Maybe and just Shinsho just opened that door to just give him that entrance for them to. So I guess I don't really know how Shinsho's quirk like truly works. Like, is he mm-hmm. projecting his consciousness into another person, uh, and like forcing their like and kind of like 
making them do what he wants then? Because if that's the case, yeah, like, he tried to put his consciousness into Deku to, like, make him stop, but the other users was like, hey, yo, there's other consciousness there. You don't fit in here. Get up out of here. Yeah, that's what, that's, that's what, that's what yeah. he thought, too. Like, yeah, um, you might be able uh-huh. to control Deku, but, you know, there's, like, six, seven other of us. is like, so, uh, kick you out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, how I always saw it, like, whatever he says makes the connection to the mind, and then that person's response gives them access. So I think once Deku spoke and Shinzo got access, mm-hmm. that triggered all of the other predecessors to kick him out, mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. not be a part of that conversation. And the first like, one to I mean, come out was Black Whip. Yep. So the, yep. the, the third? No, it was not a, I mean, no, the fifth I, user was I the one that came I, out. I, I, man, people go, like, Black Whip was actually in, insanely powerful. Like, you saw how he was using it. Oh, oh yeah. In there. You know what? I think what helped the theory even more is because Deku went into this consciousness and then he meets the fifth users and say, like, how do you know how to use, don't you know how to use my quirk like this? This is how you're supposed to use this. So, yeah. like, so you know what? That actually so They've been watching the entire this. time. They just haven't been able to say anything to him. You know? <laughs> First so. thing you know, he's like yelling at him. He's <laughs> like, how dare you use my quirk wrong? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because later on, like we saw him using black lip, lifting cars, helping civilians at the same black time. Look so damn cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, it's so good. Uh, uh, Denzel, I, like I do hope Deku keeps one for all at the very end because to me, this entire series is just about what is the definition of a hero. I don't think one for all needs to be transferred or anything like that for the rest of the world to continue because it's about the community of heroes doing what's right in society. I think that's the point of my hero and we're just seeing it through the lens of Deku. So I personally hope he keeps it all the way until the end. And then at the end, we just see the next generation of heroes going to UA or whatever school to, you know, carry on the legacy. That's what I hope. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, any final thoughts from the chapters, my guys? Um, I'm just looking forward to what's going to happen next. I'm really excited about that. Man. So, I mean, this chapter opens a lot of doors, but also leaves it, it also kind of closed some, which I feel like mm-hmm. I'm thankful for. It confirms some stuff for me that I've been really, really hoping that we would get. Um, like the fact that Deku doesn't have a quirk. There's mm-hmm. no secret quirk. It's, it, that's not there. It's confirmed. Like, I, it, it, yeah. it, I feel like for me, this confirms that. He doesn't have some secret quirk stored up from his parents or his, his dad. I, yeah. Which, I don't know, this also kind of like... There's a lot of consequences in this. this like, well, too, it now. also like it, it solidifies to me that we don't need to see his dad. Yeah, <laughs> no. you know, <laughs> we don't need we don't need that. Um, yeah. So who knows if it'll happen? I mean, yeah, it'd be cool, but I'm like, I guess we don't really need it to be honest with you. Yeah, so, we never seen Ash Ketchum's bad either. So yeah. I mean, we're about to for some reason. Um, you know, they confirmed Seriously? that. Yeah, we're gonna see his dad <laughs> at some point here soon. Um, <laughs> gonna find out that his dad was you know there all along. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Shit, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I'm I'm really excited to see where we go next. I'm I'm hopeful that we kind of get the the resolution to the endeavor stuff here pretty quick. Um, like what's what's his action gonna be? Uh, and the, the what what are they gonna say to the public? That's what I want to know now. Like I want to know that stuff. Uh, as much mm-hmm. as I want to keep seeing about this, I hope he kind of leaves us in the dark a little bit more about um, one for all. Mm-hmm. And, like I I really do. I, like I want that mystery to stay. A little bit more contained for a little while longer. I, I feel like when Deku had some questions, will have questions for it. It's like, well, apparently our time is up. So, um, see you next time. You get knocked out again, kid. Potentially, <laughs> yeah. But it seems like they have more, they have more. Like they called him this time. Yeah. So like, okay, we'll see. James. Yeah, man. I I thought this chapter was awesome. I thought the art was great. Like just moving into the second and third page and just seeing. All of the predecessors with Deku in that room absolutely blew me away. And I'm just excited for the next chapter to see where it goes. It's like, will we get more of this conversation between uh, Deku and Shimura? Like, do, will we switch back to the Todorokis? Will Hawks and All Might have a conversation about One for All? What, what is that going to be like? So I'm just ready for the next chapter, man. I'm not sure what's going to happen next, but I'm just excited. Horikoshi's doing a great job. Yeah. 
All right, guys. We are in this session. Thank you, Light, for joining us. Yeah, Light, help. thank you for jumping in, man. Thanks for the uh, invite. Thank you for not enjoying yeah, man. cheese on pancakes. That's why you were allowed here today. <laughs> yeah, I want to know why I, Bash isn't here because he told the internet that he likes cheese on pancakes. So yeah, we so out. This, this was his consequences in nope, the anime channel. He had to spend time out today. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Light, we got to have you back real soon, man. Absolutely, yeah. man. All right. Thanks for having me, guys. Of course. Yeah, man. All right. Thank you guys in the chat. We love you guys for the support. Hope you enjoy it. Sorry about the technical difficulties in the beginning. but sometime. But so glad you guys can watch this right now. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace. Take it easy. All right, peace. All right. <clears throat> Yo, man, seriously.